how did it do that what is up fam welcome back to lacely jones tarot this reading here is for my scorpio zodiac signs i was trying to pull my hair up and get it out the way um i've never seen my phone do that before record and play a video at the same time what the what what i know weird right all right so let's dive in and see what's going on with your scorps let's tap into the energy here mm. Let's do the overall energy with spell casting. So let's see. What's your overall energy right now, Scorpio? Scorpio energy. What is your ooh, what is your overall energy? Watch your head, baby. Watch your head. Overall energy for Scorpios, please, spirit. Yes, spirit guide. All right. Bottom of the deck, confidence. Okay. So let's see. Oh, wrong book. Okay. Uh oh. What did I say? Spirit guide. There it is. One twelve. January twelfth could be significant, or December first. Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? There it is. All right. So this is messages come to you through words and songs, conversations and books. Good morning, baby. Signs are all around you. Trust your visions and leave out gifts of gratitude to seal your bond. Okay? So you've never ever walked alone for each step you take is guided by a helpful and protective watcher who resides in the spirit world. Spirit guides come in many forms, including deceased loved ones, animals, and mystical beings who bring you I don't know, who bring to you many gifts and lessons and always have your best interests at heart. All you have to do is be willing to accept their presence and pay attention to their loving messages, which can come in many ways. You're being nudged to be meditative and to go into deep commune with your spiritual guardian at this time in order to harness spiritual connection and historic understanding. Okay, one second. Okay, sorry about that. I had to get her situated in the living room that way I could record so she don't be yelling all in the video, honey. She's very vocal, honey. Very vocal. Let's see, so messages come to you through words and songs. Some of y'all, y'all going to be realizing, like, I don't know, something about songs are going to be synchronizing to you. You're going to be like, hmm, hmm, you know. It's going to make a lot of sense. Or, like, something you read in uh, some sort of conversation you have or some sort of uh, message or something like that. You're going to see something. That's your spirit guy trying to tell you something. Yeah. Signs are all around you. Yeah. Trust your visions. Y'all are even getting visions, too. Y'all are very tapped in. Some of y'all don't even realize how tapped in y'all are. Very tapped in. And uh, it's your spirit guys trying to warn you or tell you about something. What's going on? Three cards. Now let's do two. Two cards. I had two cards. I should have stopped. But anyway, the moon. Yeah, there's something being hidden that you can't quite see. Uh, somebody could be creating like illusions or something like that. But something about your dreams are very significant for you. Four of Cups energy. There could be something about refusing to offer a missed opportunity or um, boredom or, or something like that. We got a king of cups. This is a very trusting, knowledgeable, caring type of energy. This is someone very loyal, um, someone who understands unconscious um, motivations, like, you know, people that do things not thinking about it and stuff like that. And the strength card, this is like a counselor type of energy. They, they're deep. Okay, very deep. This could also be a good friend. And then the strength card. This is taming, controlling, over, uh, overcoming, influence. The strength card being strong, maintaining that beast within. Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. The only thing I don't like about this Knight of Cups, this is like the love bomber energy. They show up as like the ideal man or woman. So we'll see what the heck is this. So. Now, what's this moon energy about? There's some sort of misconception or some sort of insecurity about something. It, just, it feels like there's hidden. You feel it. It's like you feel like you're being distracted, but something's being hidden. But the thing is, your spirit guy is trying to step in and let you know what it is. So, what's the moon about? Your loyalty. Some of y'all just has your, your pet. Some of y'all pets are like uh, they're passed over your spirit guides too. Something about a pet could be a significant. One. 
getting a new pet giving a current pet more love this is also the card where i feel like loyalty it represents loyalty like um it's also like the player type of card like if a person is a player they have many options they tend to come in and play with you you know give you a little love and attention then they go to the next person give them a little love and attention so some of y'all y'all may be feeling like that's what's going on at this time sexuality someone is still figuring themselves out what did i just say um, some of y'all feel like there's something that's hidden, like somebody's not being fully honest, somebody could be hiding something, like they got their options open and just not telling you type of energy, right? That's how I'm feeling. Um, and your spirit guys could be trying to reveal this to you, so you may look at it like it's a misunderstanding, or you just may end up rejecting this altogether. What's the moon? Shocking news, some of y'all may be finding this out drinking toxic lifestyle maybe you didn't realize this person liked the toxic lifestyle like that or wasn't um was into this type of toxic lifestyle what's the moon what's the moon first storm wow karma drama endings loss mental breakdown somebody could be going through karma or there's just a lot of drama in the situation yeah feelings you may even have feelings for this person or you may start to realize that you know like dang uh yeah, moving on, letting go, loving you, and free. You may be realizing, like, I need to just move on from the situation. Somebody always acting like they fake busy, like they got so much going on. And it's because they entertain entertaining other options. What's that, four cups? Four cups, yeah. Open up your heart. It will help you attract more love. Bottom of the deck, honeymoon. Honeymoon phase, attending someone's wedding. Um... I just see like some of y'all may end up regretting opening your heart, opening your heart up to a person. What's the four of cups? Romance, four of cups, for Scorpio. Yeah, love spell. Cause you're realizing like it's a love spell, like it's a honeymoon phase. As quick as it started, it's as quick as it ended. It's like, you know, one minute y'all were in this romantic energy, like la 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 la, everything was all good, and then. Somebody just left you hanging, left you on red, no closure, you know, no more contact. You know, somebody just kind of moved on without saying anything or just kind of just left you there. This is because somebody was under a love spell, you know, secluded. They could be watching you from secret accounts. This is what they do, secluded. Separation, reflecting, soul searching. Some of y'all could be separating yourselves. As you're doing this, this person... You could have even rejected an offer, right? Maybe you had your heart open to this person at once and you just kind of pulled your heart back because you realized like they kept leaving you on red or maybe you're doing this. I don't know. Flip the rolls, okay? But you're realizing that something just ain't, it ain't working. Something ain't working. Gambling, mercury retrograde, which is electronic issues, communication issues, and then honeymoon. Honeymoon phase, attending someone's wedding. Confession. Earth sign. Some of y'all could be dealing with an earth sign or y'all just need to get grounded. They'll be back. Yeah, this is somebody that feel like they can just run in and out your life, too. That's probably an issue there. What's the uh, king of cups? Y'all could be getting counseling or talking to somebody. Let's see. What's the king of cups? Vacation. You will be traveling some distance. You and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant. Now, this king of cups energy, y'all could be talking to somebody. And maybe y'all get along really well. Maybe y'all go on like a getaway with this person. This could be an older person too, a more mature person for y'all. Oh, Jesus. Someone is too full of themselves. It's not the right time, but somebody may be very self-absorbed. <laughs> really just focus on them and their selves or this could be you. Okay, whichever. The spirit may be trying to warn you about this. What is the, the King of Cups with vacation? Backstab. Damn, Scorpio, what is going on? Pain, deception, pain, cheating, deception, mind games, and love bomb. What about this with the King of Cups? What's the King of Cups for Scorpio? And wish. And legal matters here. Divorce, property, criminal, paternity, child support, traffic ticket. Spiritual gifts, off and on, hot and cold, detached, ghosted. 
it's like your spirit guys really trying to warn you i feel like y'all have a few people around you that just want to play games or something bad credit debt unemployed under pressure anxiety decision times running out karmic ties and a secret is this person secretive closing the cycle bumping heads some of y'all may end up getting into it with somebody or just end up bumping heads with somebody because you realize that they're they could be detached like hot and cold iffy type of energy but they could be going through something too like with their money finances stuff like that they may be under a lot of pressure um they could be karmically tied to somebody else but you or this could be you and it's like you just wish you could just get away for a while go on a vacation with somebody for a while what are all these situations good lord let me see what's the strength card for scorpio what's the strength card no it's not the right time spirit wants you to keep staying strong because something is just not the right time liar you could be dealing with a lot of liars right now be careful someone's sneaky or somebody's just not trustworthy at this time it's like you may be finding that out. Spirit may be trying to reveal it to you. Like, yo, are you listening? I'm trying to tell you this person. You cannot trust this person. There's somebody that you just absolutely cannot trust. This person keeps their options open. You may find that out or that's coming out, okay? This person may try to keep you, leave you hanging. Like It's like they want you to open your heart up to them and all this and all that. But you, but they keep leaving you hanging. They, they don't give you closure. They, you know, they leave you on red. They're not answering back and... Yeah, I may even get some advice from an older person like, yo, um, you shouldn't talk to that person no more. Or this person's just love bombing you. Something like that. What's the strength card? Child, it's just a mess. Secluded. Separation. Reflecting. Soul searching. Some of y'all may just like be pulling back from a lot of people right now. Like, let me just seclude myself. Yeah, reckless love and sex. Phony trickster illusion. I'm telling you, somebody trying to like... Somebody is trying to, somebody phony, somebody fake as fuck. And I don't, and it's like spirit is trying to reveal this person to you. What's the strength card for Scorpio? Karmic ties. Yeah, like this is somebody, they shady as hell. Secrets, they keep secrets. It, it, it's like they don't want strings attached. True colors. You go, you about to somebody about to show you their true colors, how they truly feel. Secret accounts. And spirit wants you. This person could have secret account. They could be watching from a secret account too. Love, hate. This could be somebody that got love for you, but they hate you at the same time. One second. Uh, divine feminine. And family. Some of y'all may just, if y'all have kids, fake busy. Some of y'all may just start to like focus on your children or like you just, if you have kids, you may just do that. Or like you may just like start acting like you got other stuff to do. Like you may just kind of drift off. <laughs> I don't know. Cause you feel like this person, whoever this person is, you feel like they shady. Like, um, I just don't like this energy. One second. Let me see if I can get a little more information here. Because this is... Where's the situation? Yes. So, what's this pet? So, some of y'all may be finding out that somebody got the options open. Okay. Or you could be finding out something about a pet or something. What's the moon child with the pets? What's the moon with the pets? Death. The relationship is over. No second chance is growing transformed. What's dead is dead. Now, some of y'all, this could be a past person. This person could be getting karma. There could be some drama that's trying to come out about this person. Or you may hear something about this person, okay? You may hear something that's going on. Girl with the snake, charm to use, enable boundaries. And you may end up setting boundaries with this person. Or you just keeping your boundaries up that you already have set, okay? This could be, like, you may hear some sort of shocking news. What is the shocking news about, child? I am so nosy. This is, this is a connection that's done. It's already over with. You feel like 
where you feel like it's done and it's over. Like, there's no resuscitating this type of relationship. And because of that, somebody, you may find out that somebody's having some sort of mental breakdown or they're going through some sort of endings or loss. Child neglect, bad parenting, scared of, hates parents. Some of y'all, yeah, this could be a, a family member or parent. This could be, some of y'all may have children with this person. Crying over you, sad, hurt, upset, etc. This person could be crying over you. Some of y'all, this could be your kids. Okay, whichever. What's the moon with the pets? What's the moon with the pets card for Scorpio? Fishing for comments. This could be somebody that's trying to fish for comments for you. Or like, they could either be looking online or they could be asking around, getting information like that. A closer look, nosy up in your business. Yeah, this is somebody that's up in your business here. You may find out about that and you're like, what? Who? Or something. Or... You see them on your social media and you're like, what? I, I didn't even. For some of y'all, this could be uh, your baby mother, baby father. And you was like, I didn't think you was concerned about that. And why are you check? Why are you trying to find? Why are you in my business? I don't know. <laughs> or some of y'all, this is like a relationship that you had with a person and you just felt like it was already over. Like. This could have been very neglectful. What's the moon with the pets? Creativity mantra. Steals your ideas, copies your work, duplicates, feeds off of you. You know who this person is because they used to uh, take from you or they stole from you in some sort of way. Bankrupt. Yeah. They stole from you. They used you or like fed off of you in some sort of way. This was an energy vampire. Curious about you. They're, in, they're curious about what's going on in your life. Okay. Whatever this is. Now, what's the Four of Cups with the open up your heart, romance, and left you hanging? Four of Cups, open up your heart, healing heart, healing heartbreak, toxicity, or addiction, abusive relationships. See, some of y'all may end up refusing an offer or rejecting somebody because you just don't have good memories with this person. For some of y'all, this, this relationship was quite abusive. It could have been very one-sided. You know what I'm saying? You always showed up in this loving, kind energy. But they always left you hanging. Like, it was just completely one-sided. Looking at pictures, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories picture. This could be somebody coming back wanting to create new memories with you and stuff like that. And you just may be choosing not to because you feel like it's, you know, you're still healing from heartbreak. Others of you, this could be uh, a new connection that's coming in. But you're still healing from some sort of past thing. Or this could be your person still healing from something. The person that's coming towards you still healing from something. And it's like y'all still got toxic ways you got to heal in order to, before you can come into alignment. Okay, what's the four of cups with open up your heart for Scorpio? Blocked. Oh, well, you end up blocking this person. Threatening, intimidated, threatened, and bothered. One more for the four of cups with the open up your heart. Dirt digging, looking for dirt on your vice versa. I feel like, Shine, your light irritates their demons. I do feel like this person here, you may end up blocking them. Something about you, I don't know if they feel threatened by you or you feel threatened by them. It's like y'all may end up trying to dig up information on each other or something may come out, okay, that one of y'all don't like. And that's why you end up either leaving them hanging or they leave you hanging. Okay, something's going to come out and you're just going to be like, mm -mm, I'd rather heal from this. Cyberbullying, chasing. This could have been somebody that like talk ish about you online or something like that. And then, yeah, into you. Good chemistry, great vibes and positive. This could have been somebody that talked bad about you, you know what I'm saying, and wanted you to chase them or... Or they bullied you online and now they want to come towards you. Now all of a sudden you're positive vibe energy and now they want to be around you. And you're just like, mm, you may find something may come out, okay, about this person. Um, what's the King of Cups? What's the King of Cups? Okay, so whoever this King of Cups is, there's real love here. Love, unconditional love, self-love and wholeness, affection and attraction, selfless. Don't have to be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, okay? It's just the energy. But this is like a good friend. This is somebody you would like to travel with or you may potentially go on a, uh, a travel retreat with. You could have even opened up to this person about how somebody like stabbed you in the back, love bombed you type of energy, right? But this is somebody you had unconditional love for. 
addiction, codependent, obsession and restraint, possession and control, emotional block. But there could be a blockage between you two. Maybe y'all are wishing to come together. Keep a zero. Top of the deck. Half faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, struck by love. Um, Y'all two both could be wanting to come together. Y'all have like a, a very selfless type of relationship. Like y'all both care about each other's wants and needs. You know, very mature energy. One second. Okay, so let's say King of Cups. Clarify the King of Cups with the vacation card. Clarify King of Cups with the vacation card. Clarify King of Cups with the vacation card for Scorpio. King of Cups with the vacation card for Scorpio. I got extra triggered and then too busy winning. So, somebody could be triggered about y'all's connection, that y'all have unconditional love for each other. What's King of Cups with vacation? And fake flexing. Ask rich, flosses money, ask fancy, shows off, etc. And kissing booty. Hmm. They lost their chance or you did grudge holder. Okay, well, that went left. And running. Scarcity tactics. This might be somebody that y'all wish y'all could come together or somebody missed out on the opportunity though. I do feel like there's mutual love here, though, because I feel like you either unconditionally love this person or they unconditionally love you, but somebody could have stabbed somebody in the back. And it's like, dang, I wish we could have been together, but I stabbed Scorpio in the back or I stabbed or Scorpio stabbed me in the back or something like that. There's some sort of betrayal here that triggers somebody. Now, somebody could be coming off like they winning, like they living their best life, but really they faking the funk. They're not as happy as they claim to be, too. Somebody might try to come in and kiss your tail, like, because they know that. What's the king of cups for the vacation? Obsessive lover, dangerous, toxic, and healthy, possessive, and karmic. Uh, I don't know about that. Jackpot. Okay, be careful of somebody coming towards you that wants to be with you because you're doing good or you're doing well. Okay, or vice versa. Because there's like an obsessive, toxic, or this, or you two could come together and y'all have mutual love and respect for each other, right? And y'all both dealing with like. I uh, know. Why you got that? Y'all both could be dealing with like some sort of obsessive lover. Y'all both could be dealing with an obsessive lover or something like that. Uh-oh. Uh -uh. You dropped it. What you need, your banky? One second. Okay, so yeah, this could be like, y'all two could be coming together, jackpot energy, um, and then realizing that y'all two both are dealing with karmics or something like that as well. But be careful of somebody coming towards you, acting like y'all gonna be winning together and this person faking the funk, okay? Because I'm seeing that also. Will you stop messing with my cards, ma'am? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bite you. What's the strength card? It's not the right time. Ooh. Strength card. No. Quit it, girl. I'm going to quit. What's the strength card? Woo. Wedding range, union and marriage, soul connection, everlasting love and devotion. Some of y'all are wanting marriage or you're wanting. Mm, maybe you were married. Okay. Some of y'all are wanting marriage, but it's just not the right time right now, Scorpio. But others of you, you're wanting like this uh, mm. everlasting love and mm. stuff like that. But you could still have like karmic <laughs> ties that are in the way right now. You could still be karmically tied to somebody. Some of y'all are still karmically tied to somebody through marriage, through legalities. And so you're trying to separate yourself from that and, and do some soul searching. Because I see the runner card. Fear of intimacy, running away, intensity, and letting go. Turmoil and fleeting. Mirror, mirroring each other, self-reflection, introspection, inner wounds, and clock needing time, cycles, and takes time, time to heal, progress. And some of y'all are still healing from like another relationship, or this is your person, trip it, whatever you need to. Some of y'all are still healing from another connection that was deep. Maybe you saw this person as somebody that you were going to marry or be with for a very long time. Or others of you, this was um, somebody you were married to. 
Some of y'all are still going through healing in regards to that. And, um, or your person is. And so y'all could be taking time apart so that y'all can just do like some self-reflection, working on your inner selves, okay? The snake competition enemy, the other woman look over your shoulder. Yeah, because it could be, there could be another person like involved or trying to get involved. It's, it's somebody that somebody's karmically tied to. Or if you were married to this person and, you know, you're karmically tied to this person through children, uh -huh. there could be another person that's involved that's kind of like mm -hmm. creating issues and stuff like that. Uh -huh. That's why Spirit is saying it's not the right time right now. Uh -huh. Okay, hop down. Go in there and watch TV with your brother. Go in there and watch TV with your brother. Go in there. Watch TV. What's the strength card? So you could be trying to just stay confident and hold, standing your ground type of thing, you know, being focused. On yourself right now. What's the, the strength card for Scorpio? Yeah. I feel like you just dodging somebody all together because you got dodging bullets. Like you're dodging something or someone all together because you, you got some haters around you. What's the. And focusing on your bag. There you go. Runs on business, stable, busy, multifaceted. Boss daddy energy is here too. So you could have. They lost their chance or you did. Grunge or. Somebody could be holding a grudge against you because you're you're moving on, focusing on your bag, focusing on things that you need to get resolved, like your, your everyday life. And so somebody could be like holding a grudge against you because of that, which, and again, this could be somebody you're karmically tied to or you're just kind of secluding yourself, doing your soul searching and you're realizing where you need to place your time, energy, and effort. Because somebody could have somebody could have put you in competition with somebody else and you're like, yeah, no, nah, I'm good. I'm just going to dodge that all together as well. Or trying to put you in competition with somebody, whichever. Male or female. Females do it too. They could be trifling too. All right, what messages do you have? I guess this is, spirit, this is like spirit guide showing you like a, a glimpse on what's going on in your energy. What do you have for Scorpio? Scorpio, you have Scorpio. Some of y'all could be dealing with another Scorpio or they got it in their chart. What's going on? Bottom of the deck, P. T. P. Gemini. Scorpio. Capricorn. G. February. X. Y, E, I, G. Okay, sorry, y'all. So, yeah, T, P, G, X, Y, E, I, G. Scorpio, Capricorn, Gemini, February, April, Aquarius, Pisces, V, W, and Virgo. Could be of significance. Okay. Somebody's name could be Gigi. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to go too long. It's not really long enough. Okay, this is what I have for you. Hope it brings you clarity and insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch you on the next video. Bye, y'all.